One of the questions I hear is, how can I tell if I'm low on Freon, or how can I tell if I need Freon in my car's air conditioner? Welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Certified Master Technician. Well, first of all, let's talk about how to know exactly how much Freon's in the car. There is not much refrigerant in most of our modern day automobiles. Unless you have a big system like in a van or something, we only have about 16 to 20 ounces. If we have too much in there, it's going to damage our compressor, especially here in Phoenix because our temperatures get so high and it puts the pressure really high on that compressor. If we get a little bit low, the deceptive thing is, is our air might be blowing wonderfully cold out of the, the vents. But there's two problems if we're a little bit low. Number one is that refrigerant carries oil in it to lubricate the compressor. And so it won't carry enough lubrication. And secondly, we need enough refrigerant to go through the inside of the car and get just a tiny bit out to the compressor to help cool the compressor and make it last longer. The only simple test I can tell you to do at home is there's, there's two refrigerant lines under your hood, if you're comfortable under your hood. One's a, a fairly big one and one's a fairly small one. The small one's gonna be very hot, so be careful about touching it. The bigger one is gonna be cold. And it should be, if you feel it as close as you can to the compressor, it should be cold. If it's barely cool, you're probably a little bit low. Otherwise, in a shop, we use gauges and we look and they can give us a little bit of an idea, but the best way to know whether your refrigerant level is correct or not is we actually suck it out into a machine. We don't let Freon or refrigerant out into the atmosphere because it is a global warming problem. And then we recycle it, clean it, and then we put back the exact weight that's called for for your car. That's the only way we can be accurate with it. So don't let somebody just add some because there's a good chance you can damage your compressor. I hope this information has been helpful to you. And until next time, safe travels to you and blessings.